keep on driving, we just do what we wanna do Yeah, no nothing's complicated with you another video today we're gonna to be doing a rainy day pregnant mom day in the life we just need to get some things done around the house I got a new hat organizer for my husband so we're gonna try that out see how it all looks I have a little mini baby haul that I've just started to get things for baby boy and we also have a huge order coming from Old Navy, but it just hasn't gotten here yet. I did a ton of shopping over Memorial Day for baby boy. And hopefully soon I can find a dresser of some sort to kind of hold all of baby boy's clothes. Because right now they're just floating everywhere because we don't have a lot of space for it. So we're going to do that. I need to do some reorganization. Um, I want to do a crock pot like chicken parmesan pasta recipe in the crock pot so we're going to get that started. It is about 12.15. I finally was like, okay, I need to put myself together. It's a rainy day. We had a lazy morning and now we can kind of get up, get things ready. So I'm going to share this quick baby haul. We'll get lunch ready for Waverly. I'll start to get that crock pot recipe started yeah we really wants to do the haul with me and then we will go ahead and just see where the day takes us so the first thing that we got that i've just had for a while and i actually have a few other things in waverly's room but one thing that i got recently was this three pack of little sleepers for 12.99 and they're in the newborn sign which they still seem really big waverly was only in the newborn size for like a week and a half and so i'm getting a few things of newborn but not like a ton and if i end up having a smaller baby than waverly i will go ahead and buy newborn then but we're also having a baby at a kind of awkward time here in idaho <laughs> the weather can be just so unknown and some i if you didn't know my due date is august 31st so with that it's going to be kind of summer especially if i go into labor early but then we're going into September and sometimes September's can be beautiful. It's like still summer weather, like 80 degrees. And sometimes it jumps right into fall. And so trying to find a balance of what to buy has kind of been difficult. And one of my friends gave me a whole bunch of zero to three onesies short sleeves. So I don't need to buy like any of those, but I'm still just trying to like get a few short sleeve, like uh, shorts and then stock up on warm things because they do have to stay so warm when they're that little because they just have been used to being warm the whole life. Mainly what I'm stocking up on now is sleepers and then I will get a few like cuter summery outfits because like right now the only cute outfits they have out and about like shopping wise unless you're doing like online shopping is just summer stuff so i want to get like a few cute summer outfits but i also don't want to go crazy and waste the money because he won't be able to wear it very long here in idaho those aren't socks those are pants they're cute <laughs> so the first thing that they're i got for baby brother they are for baby brother yeah also i actually didn't got some things in newborn and i didn't know i did from target but i got these little newborn sleepers and it came in a two pack Look from at Target. Pants. And I found my Look favorite place to get sleepers is Old Navy Look and at then. these pants, Mama. Yeah, and from Target. And then we got these zero to three month little pants just because they no, need little short. pants. No, I think the shorts. 
Maybe these are the shorts. We got them shorts, but I don't know where they went. We got them a gray color in the pants. And those are shorts. Yep, these are three month, these are pants too, little pants. I won't open them yet. I will probably wait and do like a big and wash of all the clothes here in a couple jammies. months. Yep, these are footy jammies. Huh, what are these? Those are sharks. They're whales. That well, they swim, swim. Yeah, in they, water. yeah, they do swim in the water. You're right. So these are nice because they have the two-way zipper, and for in the middle of the night, diaper changes. That's so nice just to be able to zip up the front when they're that little. As they get bigger, the two-way zipper, I don't really like it as much. But when they're really little, I really like the two-way zipper. So we got these, and that I like. Yeah. So the Target brand, the thing that I kind of like about these is they're a little bit thinner. So like while it's still warm, we can really wear these, but then the old navy ones are a little bit thicker. So he can wear those ones. But I wanted to get a few of the thinner ones from Target and we still have so much more shopping that we have to do. And then I got this little shark one and we really loves this because of the little feet. But that's like our mini haul. Like I said, I have a huge order coming from Old Navy. And I think I have so like over 30 sleepers coming so in. So I think in about July, I'll probably be able to start getting more of like yeah, the fall cute clothes. Cause I do want to get in like some cute clothes, but I feel like the staples are just like the onesies and pants. And that's one thing we need to get a whole bunch of long sleeve onesies. Um, and there's like a whole list that I want to do and I want to do a whole video on baby organization and kind of baby must-haves and hopefully we were going to do it this last weekend but it ended up being too busy so hopefully this next weekend me and Trajan can go up in our storage and go through all of our baby items and kind of see what we have of weight release that we can reuse. A lot of like the swing and things like that we can reuse because we got them like neutral but the clothes ones. obviously is going to be a little bit different jammies for baby brother you have those jammies for baby brother what's on them they have a shark a and shark in the water yep they swim in the water she and is very excited so about all the little clothes she's like i want to wear little footy jammies just like baby brother's going to and she does have so many footy jammies so she will be able to match when he comes. But and I think that's going to end our little ones. haul. Yep, those ones. Yeah. And so they have the part hoogies. They have the part hoogies. They're right. These are the footies. Yep, that's where the feet go, huh? But anyways, we will make a whole list of everything that we need soon and just slowly be getting stuff week by week. Um, I have three months until yeah. baby boy's gonna be here. So Waverly's insisting on having mac and cheese. So she hasn't had it in a while, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that made for her. And then I started to get things ready for the crock pot recipe and I ended up forgetting that we needed cream cheese and cottage cheese and we don't have either of those but you don't put them in until later so i think i'm gonna go ahead and like make it and then also called for milk which we need milk so i might go ahead and we'll just go to the store later this afternoon and get milk cottage cheese and cream cheese so it's really easy just like it's like dump and go pretty much i just have to cube up the chicken so that's kind of what we'll do your laughter takes me to heaven i just want to make you repeat it and repeat it again yeah you make the sky so blue no nothing's complicated with you hey playing songs on the video sing along to the words that we don't know how brings out the loudness let's just
as far as this chicken uh, parmesan crock pot recipe i will go ahead and link the tiktok recipe that i followed down below i didn't follow it to a t i just kind of used what i had and then i did go buy the few things that i did need because i figured without those things it would kind of be weird so to get started i just went ahead and cubed up my chicken added some crushed tomatoes parmesan cheese salt pepper i think it was like garlic powder onion powder italian seasoning um i'll have everything linked well the tiktok link down below so you can go ahead and follow it if you like it i didn't mind it it kind of reminded me of lasagna by the time like we got done just like kind of chicken lasagna just not like with ground beef um but like it was good i don't know if i'll make it again it made a ton and i think if i would have cooked the noodles a little bit less i could have maybe froze it and we could have like had it like one day for like lunch or an easy dinner or something but since the noodles kind of got soft and i left it in the crock pot for a little bit after that they kind of got too soft that i was like if i put this in the oven it is not going to cook well so i just went ahead and kept some of it and then i ended up just tossing the rest of it which i hate wasting food but I knew that we weren't going to eat it and I knew it wouldn't be good at freezing. So I'm going to go ahead and tackle the dishes and then now I'm in my bedroom during Waverly's nap and I wanted to make the bed and then I got a hat organizer for Trajan's hats because he has like over 30 hats and he just has a hard time being able to see them as you can see over here like they're just stacked so you can't really see what you have and they would fall off and i'm just trying to make our spaces more functional so i actually really like this like how organizer um the only thing is like waverly can reach it now but she really doesn't like come in our room that often like she'll come in like the morning when she wakes up but like really i'm just in here to get dressed in the morning sleep and that's pretty much it like i'm not spending a ton of time in my room so we really are in here so it really isn't that big of a deal but i will link that down below too it is just from amazon and it was like 15 bucks i want to say so super affordable and i really like it and it just is nice that i can have all of his hats out and i did have to stack some of them because i think this one only fit 27 but there are some hats that he doesn't wear all the time like his seahawks hat like he will wear those more in the winter when football season is going like he'll wear them sometimes but those he doesn't wear as often so i did stack a few of them but overall i really like the way that this turned out and then told me you believe in something and you said you're done pretending that fate is patient go run away get it out of your system come back when you're older go find a place where you can't be the victim and come back During Waverly's nap, I also wanted to go ahead and finish editing my video that I needed to and do the voiceover on it. So that's what I went ahead and did there. And then I still had some extra time during her nap. So I went ahead and dumped the garbage and I needed to plan out my June schedule. So I just went ahead and started writing a few ideas that I had down and then just kind of like a brain dump of things that I want to accomplish, need to get done, buy, all that kind of stuff because I feel like there's just a lot with a new baby coming. I'm trying to figure out everything and also don't mind that little entryway. I'm still just leaving it like that for now until I figure out what I want to do. So I'm going to go ahead and plan out my month of June and then we'll just continue on with our little productive day. I feel like I was able to get quite a bit done, especially when I first started the day. I did not think I was going to be productive, so it felt good that I was able to. 
Okay, so it has been quite a bit later. I put Waverly down like after 1.30 and it is now 3.43. She made some noise so I thought she was ready to wake up so I went in there and she didn't make a peep. She is just still trying to sleep and so I'm just kind of leaving the light on with the door and whenever she's ready, she can come on out so this could be interesting with just how she is but i did look at the crock pot and i it's been cooking for about three hours so i went ahead and looked at it and the chicken is cooked so i went ahead and changed it to warm so when waverly does wake up i will go ahead and we will load her up in the car with me and we will go get cottage cheese milk and cream cheese i'll make sure that's what we need so i don't end up having to go to the store again if i need to trajan can just on his way home stop but i'd rather just have everything now um because he'll probably be headed home anywhere from 5 to 5 30 it kind of just depends but he's about an hour away where he's working today so he won't get home until around 6 6 30 so the crock pot will just be on warm until we're getting closer and then you just add in the uh, I keep wanting to say sour cream, the cottage cheese and cream cheese, and then your noodles. You'll boil your noodles and everything. So it's super simple, but it looks really good. I'll show you in just a second what it's looking like. But something that I wanted to also tackle today is where we keep our plates. It's kind of just become a disaster. And between like, I don't even know. There's just like random medicine everywhere that's not in the containers. I need to go through things and kind of just sort through it. So while I really is deciding to wake up, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'll just kind of start to organize it and we'll see how far we get. Hopefully I can just get it all done. And then I was going to fold a little laundry, but I'll wait until she's more awake because I don't want to open up the dryer and like scare her. So... I'm gonna go ahead and show you what the crock pot is looking like and then we'll get into organizing the plate cupboard. Why don't we say that it's too late for us now? Why do we stay when I blame you for the things that weigh me down? So good to get this cupboard all clean i feel like it had just slowly been piling up i got rid of some plates that we didn't need we never use those glass ones anymore since we got our new ones and i feel like at first when i got those i kept them because i didn't know but i wanted to keep a few of the other ones for when we um are like barbecuing we just have like extra plates and things like that it's just nice to have a few extras like that but i did go ahead and go through all of like our medicine we had hand sanitizers i just needed to straighten everything up and i do need to get a third basket that matches for my vitamins and then i always have to think about actually <laughs> random thought if i say vitamin right because waverly calls her vitamins a vitamin and so i always have to think about if i'm saying the word vitamin right because i always end up saying a 
do you want your vitamin or something for the day? But that felt good. I think I might get some baskets too for the top. Just that's, that's a whole bunch of just random stuff that we want to keep, but we don't really have a place for. So that's kind of where it goes. And I actually didn't have a load in the dryer. So I just went ahead and put that load that was in the washer into the dryer. And that's all I had to do for laundry today because I usually only do like one load, maybe two, if we're kind of feeling behind, but usually it's just one. Now I'm going ahead and starting the water for the pasta, adding in the cream cheese, milk, and cottage cheese. I'm gonna add that in, add a little bit more Parmesan cheese, and then that's it. It overall was really good, but thank you guys all so much for being here and hanging out with me today on this rainy but productive day in the life. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more just day in the life mom motivation, be sure to subscribe and I will see you guys in my very next video. Bye! You know that I'm the queen of overthinking It's like we're done before we even started So if this is the end now, baby Know that I gave him my all